Have you ever felt lonely or like there's no one you could talk to about something? But then your best friend walks up and helps you. But this friend doesn't talk to you to help you. They're the kind of friend that walk on all fours. You need to feed them no matter how old they are. They're the kind of friend that does their business in your hallway. <laughs> so instead of talking to you, they give you a few licks on the face because they're a dog. There are upsides and downsides to having a dog. Some good things is that you always have a little buddy to be with you. Some dogs actually save hundreds of lives each year. Some dogs are trained to, to save human lives, such as police dogs, search and rescue dogs, water rescue dogs. And some dogs actually can smell cancer in its early stages, so doctors can cure it before it's too late. Even if your dog isn't professionally trained to do amazing things, a regular dog can do awesome things too, like petting a dog can reduce blood pressure, lower your heart and breathing rate, and reduce muscle tension. But there are the downsides to getting a dog. Dogs can be expensive, you have to feed them, walk them, and clean up after them. But the hardest thing in my opinion is, is that the fact that one day you have to say goodbye. Some people are fit for a lazy dog, while others might want an energetic dog or somewhere in between. I have a dog named Memphis Jim. She is a basset hound. If you don't know what they are, I'll tell you a few things about them. They are a medium sized dog, long ears, short legs, and most basset hounds are fat, so they're lazy. The number one thing Memphis Jim wants to do is sleep. I have another dog named Max. He's a poodle. And, and, which is a poodle and a beagle. Um, poodle and a beagle. Max, unlike Memphis June, has a ton of energy. And the reason we named him Max, because he looks like Max from the Grinch. And thanks to him, Max has been able to make Memphis June lose a few pounds by getting her to chase him. So if you feel lonely and need a little furry buddy to help you, I say to go to your nearest animal shelter and find your new best friend.